it's Rachel and today I am back. I'm in my Hoban each weeks and we are going to do another weekly memory planning spread and we're going to use this beautiful kit from a shop called Simply Sweetly Crafty. This is a Hoban each weeks kit. It's actually one of the bigger size Hoban each weeks kits that I've ever seen. There's a lot on here so I'm very excited about using it. So we've got all of these full boxes here. We've got some quarter boxes, some trackers, a little bit of deco. We've got some larger deco boxes at the top there as well which I really like. And then we've got lots of bottom washi and dividing and things like that we've got our date covers we've got some more functionals and then we've got lots of scripts over here so possibly won't use everything on this kit maybe won't use too many of the scripts um, but we'll see we will have a look on the week that we are going to be planning is going to be the first full week of January so let's get to that so this is how the first week in here turned out and I really really love it I love how this has turned out this is what we are going to go to today. We're going for this full week. Now, I know that this kit is not very wintry, and obviously this is January in here, but I just saw it in my collection. I have a big collection of Hobonichi Weeks kits, and I just saw it, and I thought, oh, that's cute. I want to use that one. I'm just wondering if I want to flatten my book out with a clip or something. Might be okay. I do have a clip to hand. I've got a bulldog clip here. Maybe we could... Is that going to make any difference or is it this to here that I need to clip or the whole thing? Maybe that might help a bit anyway. I'm reluctant to put that on the leather to be honest because I don't really want to make a mark. I think we'll be okay without it. I'll leave it to the side and we'll see. I really need to rip these off. I hate them. I literally hate them. Oh, I don't want to do it without my, uh, without my scissors. Right, we'll leave that tucked under there for now. Okay, so I need to find the week that I want to plan in my B6ology. So it's actually this week here, but what I did was because I wanted to have the entire year in this book, or at least the first of the month in this book, um, I actually did an eight day week, so I did the Sunday from the previous week to the Sunday, so I need to ignore that, and this is our week. Uh, so we'll go with that, and I think what we'll start with is putting down the bits that I know, so date covers and washi strips, and then we'll go from there. So how are you all this morning? I hope you're all doing well, I'm not too bad. Not too bad at all, but the weather has taken a turn. We've had two delightful days. Oh, I thought it was a long strip, and it's not. Two delightful days of absolutely gorgeous weather, and today is peeing it down. And today's the day that I could have done with going to run some errands. <laughs> In fact, I've got two errands that I have to run today. Number one, I need to run to the shop to pick up some food because tomorrow I'm taking Paige out to Eureka with friends and we are taking a picnic with us so I need to go and buy the stuff for the picnic and the second errand I need to run is I need to go and get Jensen's birthday present because I had an absolute nightmare with it so long story short Chris's work has a rewards program and you get an app and you can buy certain rewards cards and say, so for instance, what I bought was one of the Love to Shop cards and I put £300 on it and you pay, you get 8% discount on that. So I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but it was £300 minus 8% is what I paid for it. And you can use it in a variety of stores. It's quite handy, actually. I have done Love to Shop vouchers at Christmas before, which is a thing that we do over here sometimes if we're saving money for Christmas. Uh, so yeah, I was quite happy with that. I had to wait for the card to come through the post because it was um, a card, not just an online voucher, but that was fine. My intention was to spend it on the Argos website. I checked stock of the item that I wanted to buy Jensen for his birthday and it was in stock. So the card came and my first dilemma was that I could not get this card activated. So I was following the instructions on the paper that came with it to get it activated and the app that Chris's work uses is really glitchy and for some reason at the moment you can't read anything on the right side of the screen. So it was all fine because I could figure out what it wanted me to do. It was saying things like put in the 19 digit 
and then it was missing off the word number but I knew obviously you know what that meant and then it was saying um do you think I could use two of those or do you reckon actually that's a good excuse to use one of my Josephine Bow Designs dividers that I've not used for a while so yeah when I got to the end of it it was saying something like these are the terms and conditions, uh, do you agree, like whatever, but I couldn't read all the, it was getting at that, but there was a text box at the, at the bottom and I couldn't tell what it wanted me to write in it and I was writing things in it like, yes, agree, okay, I submit, I surrender, I'll do whatever you want, you know, but it, nothing was nothing was working. So I called up customer services and the guy that was on the phone seemed to not understand what I was saying. And Chris has a work email that he's not allowed to access outside of the hospital, so he can't access that at home and he's not allowed to take his phone into work, into the premises where he's working. So I could not get the guy to understand that there was no way that him sending a link or a code to that email address would help because we couldn't get access to the two things at the same time and it wasn't like we could write the code down and then he could go into work and do it it was like one of those expires in 15 minutes situations so it just wasn't going to work but it took the fellow on the phone so long to understand this anyway eventually he managed to do something and we got the card activated so that was the first hurdle done with although it was a lot of stress because he was on the phone for about half an hour but that was the first hurdle dealt with next up uh it goes on the Argos website, which is where I decided to buy the item from. There's only two places that you could buy this item from. So I decided I was going to use the Argos website. So I checked the stock level of this thing. Yes, it's in stock. Brilliant. Okay. So I buys it. I checks out. Literally 20 seconds after I checked out, I get a text message. Sorry, your order is cancelled. Uh, you'll get your refund in seven working days. I was like, no, you can't do that because Jensen's birthday is before seven working days. You've literally just took my money for his present. I don't have that money again. And I couldn't get through to customer services. First of all, the number that was for customer services that I was ringing on my mobile was saying it was a premium number and my phone wouldn't let me ring out for it. I managed to find another number and then I managed to get through to this woman and I explained the situation to her and I said, I don't understand. She was like, oh yes, that item's out of stock. And I was like, yeah, well, I know that, but it's not saying out of stock on your website. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to put that item out of stock on your website? She was like, oh yeah, sorry, we can't do that because it's a live website. And I couldn't believe it. She was absolutely useless. So she said, well, maybe I can do something where the money will go in back in in 48 hours. So that's actually today, which is a Saturday. I've checked the bank. I've checked the card, it's not gone back on the card, so I've had to lend the money off my mum. But the thing now that I've got is that I've lent money off my mum, which obviously I'm going to pay her back, but this refund is going back onto this card, which is fine because there's other shops that I can spend it in, there's lots of shops that I can spend it in, so I can save it for Christmas. However, it means that I have to pay my mum back slower because I saved up to put that money on that card over a few months, you know, so I could get him what he wanted. I don't have £250 to just give to her straight away when when we get paid. Honestly, the fuss that that is caused, I can't believe it. I'm, I will never shop with Argos again. I will never shop on that website again because I can't believe that they just... They just weren't interested. They just, I don't know what I expected them to do. I know that like the actual person that I spoke to can only do what she can do. She's only authorized to do what she can do by the company. So I'm not mad with the individual, if you get what I'm saying. I'm mad with the, I'm mad with the company. I'm mad with the company for how it operates. Like you can't do that. You just can't do that anyway. So yeah, so that's that. So. My mum very kindly has offered to lend me the money because otherwise I'd have to say to Jensen, you've got this card with £300 on it, we're going to go and get you the Xbox. We can't do it until Argos puts your money back on it and, and so then he'd have no present to open on his birthday. Oh, dearie me, what an absolute mess. But anyway, at least I've managed to... Um, to get it so that's one of my jobs today my job today is to go to smith's who've got nine of these things in stock so i'm pretty sure that i'll be okay when i get there uh, and to go and pick it up for him but the weather the weather is not playing ball 
just going to put down a to do over here I've used one of these little decoration garlands I thought it was really really cute right so that's how the week is looking so far I realized that I just put all of those stickers down and didn't tell you um, anything about what I was doing I'm liking having these bigger boxes as well as the little boxes this is a nice little kit isn't it lots of stickers on it I like that a lot right okay so let's get into it then so get my boxes and get my other boxes on here and see what I've got to put down so Monday was a bin day which I'm going to write down I'm going to put it on a box I've got lots of boxes to work with today and then it says law and order so I'm going to write that on a smaller box down here and I'm going to find an icon to go with it As I'm filming this, my first Hobonichi Weeks plan with me went up yesterday and you guys seem to really love it. You were all telling me what you're using the planner for. Some of you were telling me that you are in the cousin, because I mentioned the cousin in that video and said I love the idea of it, but just for me it's not going to work, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to need something like that. Um, and it's so nice just to hear what everybody else is up to, what everybody else is using and why different planners work for all of us. Uh, so that was really nice to read those comments. I know I've got some TVs in the back of here because I used them last time. Here they are. We're looking for a green one again. How funny that I'm using a green themed kit when I've only just done the one in my Stalogy. And I was saying to you that I don't do them very often but I've pretty much done two in a row. Right, and then we want a bin day sticker to go on there. So let's have a little look-see through here. See what we can find. That's one of my errands today that I've got to do in the rain. My other one is that I just need to quickly go and nip somewhere to get some food for a picnic tomorrow because we are doing uh, Eureka tomorrow and we're not going to buy food there. We are going to take a picnic with us. And then later on tonight we've got a party, we've got an anniversary party which ordinarily would be lovely but we've got an early start in the morning, Paige and I are up at 6 in the morning and we're not going to stay for long, we're going to stay till about half nine I think Chris said because he's actually working tomorrow and he's up at five so none of us really wants to go to this thing but you know what it's like, it's family and you're sort of obliged. So we're going to go and show face, not that we don't want to go or anything or anything with the people but just the timing if you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Put some of these checklists down here as well. I'm going to do three of them just to fill the space, but I know that I won't write three checklists worth of stuff. Okay, there we go. Right, so moving on to Tuesday then. Tuesday was back to school and I know that in here somewhere I do have a back to school sticker I've been past it a couple of times here it is back to school let's put a heart down here and then we'll put this next to it it was both kids back to school, so that does fit. And then the next thing that I've got to put down there says, I was watching Law and Order again. I was watching it all week. I'm just gonna put down a page flag and put down a TV sticker for that one. I'm not gonna write down what it was that I watched. I've noted it down once, but let me see if I've got, I've got some big TV stickers that I printed out myself. Go. there's one here if I can get it off there we go not quite the right green is it do we have a different green do we have the right green that I'm looking for oh I'm going to swap that for that because there's some of that type of colour in this kit and I think that will go better the other one was more of a bluey green and this is definitely a greeny green kit Okay, so I'll put that in there. That can take us on to Wednesday. Dexter had the vets at 5.30. So let's write that in. I'm 
I'm going to put that down this end because obviously it's later on in the day and I am going to use another one of my Dexter stickers. Where's my icon folder? He's right in the front of here I think, or he was yesterday. There he is, I can see him sticking out. I need some more of those, don't I? Definitely going to have to purchase some more of those. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then it literally just says, oh, we went shopping. It says law and order again, but it says we went shopping. So I am going to put down a shopping sticker. I'm going to write down on one of these little quarter sheets, the co-op. And then let's pop that down here. And we'll find a shopping sticker in here. There should be some baskets somewhere from Paper K, I think. I'm going to use this little one here. I'm going to use this little icon here. This is from a Sweet Kawaii Designs kit. Perfect sized. Okay, so let me turn my page in here. Let me see what we did. It says, again, I watched Law and Order. This was a bit of a quiet week after a crazy Christmas. Um, so I didn't particularly do much, which I was more than happy with. I'm just gonna put this deco full box down. I'm gonna put it in the middle of these two boxes. I've only got a couple of things going on on these two days, so I'm quite happy to uh, miss the space. But yeah, we've got Law and Order again, which I'm just gonna write on a bigger box. I like to have a quiet week sometimes where I'm not doing too much, especially if I've had a couple of busy weeks because I just feel like I need to just sort of reset. Okay, there we go. And I think we can put a TV sticker down there again. Um, I'll have a look in here because I think I've got some different ones from Paper K as well. Oh, the rain is lashing it down again. It stopped for a minute, but my mum said to me this morning when she rang me, she said, I think it's due to stop. You might be all right. But I was like, mm, not going to hold my breath. Uh, oh, I've got that one there, which has got two people on it, but Chris will have been at work. I'm going to use this one here that says TV. Oh, I just found a nap time sticker there. I'm always looking for nap time stickers. There we go, perfect. Friday, let's have a look. Friday we went to see Nan and Brian. And that's about it. We went to see Nan and Brian yesterday. Paige made a picnic and put it in her school pack lunchbox and asked if she could take it to Nana's house. So that's what we did. It was actually a beautiful day yesterday. The weather was lovely. Um, and they're okay, they're good. When we got there... Um, the house smelt of fish and chips and I was like, who's taking you for fish and chips? She's like, oh, your mum's been. So my mum had took um, some fish. They didn't have chips, actually. That's a lie. Tell you what she did. She got fish. This is what my nan wanted. She'd asked her first. Mum didn't just rock up with this. A large fish to share. I've told you that before. They share food. Um, and then she got a tub of curry sauce. But the curry sauce was not for then. The curry sauce was for later on in the week. And she was going to put some pre-cooked chicken that she'd got from... Um, Morrison's in it and um, some microwave pilau rice and she's going to make herself a little curry and I thought what a good idea good for you Nan Brian we always laugh about spicy food in my Nan's house and we have done it ever since I was a kid because Brian does not like spicy food but he can't stand the smell of it either but as he's got older he's lost his sense of smell a little bit so my Nan can get away with having a curry once in a while uh, so yeah right I've got Saturday catch up with Alison around on this box yeah so i said to her so do you have everything you need today then have you has mum took your shopping and she was like yeah but i could do with going down um and then there's this road that we go down i'm not going to say the name of it uh just to do some errands and i was like oh right okay well we've got some time next week if you want and she went now and i was like oh <laughs> okay then now to be honest it was just a little bit too warm yesterday to be out and about in it but she wanted to go so we went um and whatever makes her happy, that was fine. Right, so it says we had lunch at Mar Baker's. Now, oh, I can get a box in there, I think. Uh, so, yeah, lunch at Mar Baker's. Uh, 
this was just a little catch up that we had with Alison uh, after Christmas. We'd seen her before Christmas. We didn't see her over Christmas, but then we saw her afterwards. Me and Paige, it was this. Where should I put this? I'm going to bring up that weekend banner and I'm going to put it down the opposite way, I think, just because. I did this last week and it got in the way. It looks cute, but it got in the way and I think I've done it again. Unless I just move it up a smidgeroo that way. Let's have a think what we want to do with it. Tell you what, it's nearly 11 o'clock already. Today's got away from me. I went to bed quite late last night because I was just, oh, I was finishing my book. I finished my uh, book, The Beach Party by Nikki Smith. It's amazing, definitely recommend it. It was on 99p when I bought it, so it might still be on offer if anyone's interested. Um, and then I went to let the dogs out for the toilet. I'm gonna do that because for Sunday, I can always overlap over here, it doesn't matter. Um, and then Chris got up for work this morning about half past six and I was just awake so I ended up reading a little bit of something else and then I did fall back to sleep. We only got up at half past nine and I just feel like this morning has escaped me. I've put um, a wash on, I fed the dogs, sorted Paige's breakfast out and had a shower. So I feel like I've been productive but not doing much, do you know what I mean? And then I'm going to just write Fiona on here because we took Fiona with us. Fiona is my friend Alison's sister. And Paige and Fiona love each other. Paige, was, Paige said that to my nan yesterday because I was telling my nan the story about Ashley Banjo. I think I said it in a previous video. Fiona finally got to meet Ashley Banjo. Um, and I was showing my nan a picture and Paige said to nan, Fiona and I love each other. <laughs> I was like, yes, you are You are good friends, aren't you? Right, so Sunday, we've got Dexter started a new medication. This is when he started his meloxicam for his arthritis, which he is currently still taking. He had to come off it for a minute when they thought he might have had uh, kidney disease or kidney failure which I was absolutely convinced he was going to have, just simply because of his age. Uh, but he didn't, so he could go back on it. Let's put down another deco box, shall we? Mm. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. No, I'm not going to do it. I feel like it looks better without. And then I've put that I watched CSI Vegas, and then I've just got a sticker of Dot the Bear lazy on the couch chilling out so I'm going to see if I can find one of those stickers I think I might have a few back in here oh there's one at the bottom of that page it just caught my eye okay let's put this here uh no actually ah no They're not removable stickers, but I didn't put it down too hard. I managed to get it up. I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put a CSI sticker there. Okay, so that is this side done, and I think you'll agree it's turned out very cute. So we just need to put down my to-dos on here. It was d stash again. I've had a D stash on my list for about the last four weeks as well because I um, I need to get that sorted out and uniforms. That was obviously applying to Monday because I needed to get uniforms ready for the next day and that is that. So the only job we've got left to do is to do the weather so let me go and get my phone and the correct dates up. Okay so the time and date website is where I get the past weather from. If you just use the drop down bar there, you can find the weather from the previous months. It'll take us all the way back to the beginning of the month, the second. Uh, now, I said this last time, but I'll just say it again. There's four different portions of the day on here. I always just go with midday, which is 12 midday. Um, so let's get the weather stickers out and see what we are doing. These ones are really pretty, but I don't yet have enough. I need to wait until I get a bit further in and it's just sunny and cloudy days. 
uh, but for now I think we'll use these ones from Fab Planner Print. I do have quite a few sheets of them so hopefully I should be able to find everything that I need amongst them. So to start with we have got a cloudy day. And that said that it was eight degrees. It was three degrees in the night time. Then we've got a rainy day. 11 degrees. That night time wasn't as bad. That was only nine. Then we've got another rainy day and we've got it at 10 degrees. Next one is a cloudy day and that's 11. And then we have got a cloudy day and nine degrees. Then we've got a rainy day and it was 10 degrees. And the last one we have got a cloudy day and it was 6 degrees. Blimey, what a week. So I think we are done. That is how this week has turned out in my Hobonichi Weeks Merry Planner. I'll let you know what extra bits I've got left on this kit. So this kit was from Simply Sweetly Crafty. I've actually never heard of them before, but I really, really have enjoyed the kit. Did have some scripts that I haven't used. Maybe I'll put some of those in the back of my reusable sticker book and save them for a different day. But just for this particular spread, uh, I didn't need any of them. I didn't need to use any of them. But yeah, let's put this little deco bit down. I feel like I need to put this somewhere because it's cute. Oh, I'm going to line that box with it there. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I think that that's going to be it from me for today. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!